SoFi striking a deal for the naming rights to the new home of the Rams and the Chargers. Our own Kate Rooney sat down with SoFi CEO Anthony Noto this weekend and joins us now with how this came together. This is a big deal for this company. Absolutely. None of this is cheap, Carl, as you know. So uh, SoFi, the eight-year-old fintech startup, is putting its name on the most expensive NFL stadium ever built. The project is set to cost $5 billion dollars and is being financed by Rams owner Stan Kroenke. SoFi wouldn't confirm how much they paid for the naming rights, but it's reported to be as much as $30 million over the next two decades. I spoke with CEO Anthony Noto, formerly the CFO of the NFL, about the deal and the company's massive investment in making SoFi a household name. Yeah, I think first and foremost is why are we doing it strategically? And that's both the on-location live experience that can bring our brand to life, but also these national telecasts that will drive our needed brand awareness, which is critical for anyone like a financial services company to build that level of trust. Uh, secondarily, it's, it's less than 5% of our overall spending, um, and we have a really strong and profitable lending business and $2.3 billion of cash on our balance sheet. So not only is it important strategically, it's not that big relative to our overall spend, and most critically, we have plenty of capital to do this and so many other things. And as you guys know, SoFi is backed by SoftBank, which also has a seat on its board. Noto told me SoftBank gave the company 100% support to go through with the deal after a healthy debate. We had many conversations with our entire board of which SoftBank sits on. And so it's safe to say we've had conversations collectively as a board and individually. And we had 100% support from the board. They understood the importance of a financial services brand having such trust. And this was a unique opportunity for us to drive greater efficiency in our marketing dollars and have such an elevated um, presence in the financial world and sports and, and live entertainment more broadly. SoFi Stadium will be home to both the NFL's Los Angeles teams, the Rams and the Chargers, and is set to open at the start of the next season. Also of note, SoFi Stadium will host the Super Bowl in 2022 and the Olympics in 2028. Wow. So, I mean, I always wonder if this is worth it. Because I remember in San Jose, uh, Compaq had the Compaq Center, which then became the HP Pavilion when HP took over Compaq. I'm not, I mean, how well did HP do? Did the did having HP Pavilion help? Should they have done something else with the marketing dollars? I mean, is, is, there, is there talk about the value of something like this practically? I think so. And that Noto himself said, I needed to see the data. I needed to see the strategic value in this. And I think because the company is so young, if it were a public company that were listed on the New York Stock Exchange, you might say, is it really worth it? SoFi is so young. It's only eight years old. The contract is double the life cycle of the entire company. They're going to be doing this for two decades. So I think it really puts them on the map. And it's a pretty small portion of their actual marketing budget. He said 10 percent. So just to go back to a conversation we're having uh, during the break, um, it's not very often that you see stadiums come up for grabs like this. What was the competition like? And I guess was there any kind of color on how he was able to cinch this deal? It's true. He said there was a ton of competition. He didn't name names, but you're right. None of these stadiums don't come up that often. And this one particularly is one of the biggest. It's hosting the Super Bowl. It's hosting the Olympics. So he did say, yeah, there was some tough competition. He's also a former NFL executive. And he said, yeah, he mentioned Roger Where's Goodell. He knows the guys of the NFL. So I think it's more about, yeah, there's plenty of companies that can actually foot the bill. But this one is young. It's tech focused. So I think they actually wanted sort of the SoFi millennial brand to, to bring that demographic in. Yeah.